Hey Aries, how you doing? It's your girl Ruth. Welcome back to another series. <laughs> and this one, as y'all can see, I am tired of playing games, okay? I want this right here, okay? Put that right there, okay? Yeah. So I got a bunch of books, and those I'm um, not starting yet, but we're going to start this one. You are a mogul. Okay. And it's for the women. This one is for the women, okay? And the reason let, let's let's pull up a uh, wealth, okay? What is wealth? And why do we want wealth? Okay, let's see. Okay. Hold on, y'all, I'm coming. Okay, definition of wealth is a major supporter for optimism, health, health, because it gives you the financial freedom to make healthy choices and avail, avail of any existing health and fitness resources. As a result, those who experience lack of health have limited access to the most average and high level resources that support a healthy lifestyle check that out wealth prosperity good well-being happiness joy riches valuable material possessions a great amount and abundance are plenty measures of value of assets worth owning by a person community company or country essentially wealth is the common accumulation of sac sacred sacred resources Pacific people, organizations, and nations are said to be wealthy when they are able to accumulate many valuable resources or goods. Okay. I don't care what people talking about. You know, this is what we want, y'all. Can't tell me you ain't striving for that. You hoping to get that, get there before you reincarnate. Okay, dying again. But remember this. You are not just a woman. Okay? You inspire people. You are inspirational. You are empowering. You are driven. You are motivated. You are brilliant. You are unique. And you are bold. You are fierce. You are a mogul. Okay? So we all let. Why we have let? Okay? Because you're beautiful inside and out. Okay? Woman empowering. What? The young women. Infinity. So we got to let our young women. In. I'm, I'm doing the women right now. Where does our young guys. But I'm doing focusing on the women, helping younger women and more women, okay? Helping our children, grandchildren, nieces, nephews. You know what I'm saying? All of those, but the, we focus on the ladies right now. I'll do a class for the men as well, okay? So let's see what we're going to mostly focus with this book, okay? Baby steps. Now, some of y'all are well advanced, okay? But I'm just going to say what the meaning of that I found. I know. Now, now we're talking about a tycoon as well. Okay. It's a member of Muslim dynasty of Mongo, originally found in the successors of Tam Tamberland, which ruled much of India from the 16th to the 19th, 19th century. Tamberland. Don't that sound like something? The Mogul Empire of Delhi. Okay, I'm going to show y'all pictures in a minute. Mongo, an important or powerful person, is a specialty in the motion picture or media industry. The Hollywood movie mogul, Sam Gowen. Gowen. A person who possesses a great deal of power, influence, or wealth. In business, it's often associated with a person who dominates an enterprise or industry. P 
powerful, enriching individual like Bill Gates or many others likes to be in charge, powerful business person, leader, ruler, German root word, a tycoon, wealthy and powerful business person. Now they can say what they want to say, they can make us feel this here, we shouldn't want this and we shouldn't want that. You know, they can give me the Bible, Bible, Bible verses, whatever you want to say. But there ain't no joke out here right now. And I think I mentioned that before. We're just going to go through some of the pictures, okay, of the all tycoons, Indonesia. What is that? Saudi Arabia, okay? The fat ones, okay? Okay, they're the black ones. Okay, that are of white ones, different cultures, all of them different cultures, and Nigerians and stuff as well. Okay, way back, they've been running us, Rockefellers, of oh, oh, um, Rob Childs. Okay, all these people trying to make sure we don't get up. Now let's timber. Founder. Okay, this is uh, this is the man that we read about at first. Okay, the one of the daily, the uh, Mongol. Okay, this is him. Hold on. I'm going to read a little bit about him. The founder of the uh, Tumarod dynasty was a conqueror of Western, South, and Central Asia in the 14th century. He was also known as Timberland or Timor Lane or Timur the Lamb. He left India in 1399 after the massive conquest. And just as he was preparing a huge army to invade China, he died in 1405. Okay? So, I don't know we got this bloodline, but I think we do. Okay? Mongo Empire. You know, I hope y'all can see what I'm showing. Okay? It's like, why we not? Why we not, y'all? Why we not? You know? I seen somebody posted this today. It's like, why we not? What are, what are we letting them do to us that we not? You know what I'm saying? What are we doing? What are we doing wrong? So anyway, what I'm going to start off with first is I wrote down uh, the number of pages in this book. And what I'm going to do is I found these little nice business. I'm keeping the straight business. Look at the playing cards I found. <laughs> Check that out. And I, I'm going to shuffle them and I'm going to see what comes out and we're going to talk about it. Okay? Let's see. I'm 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 tired, y'all. I'm I know I'm worth more than that. What 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 they throwing at me? Been throwing at me for years. You know what I'm saying? Um no. And then they got little pictures on here for the business things that you gonna need, right? The sharper image. Okay. We gonna need that place at, at some point in time. I'll say, so 109, page 109, okay? And 109 is, um, let me look through the book. It's talking about, accelerate your success with the right partner. Hello. Left something out, I left something out of that last, this is this is the person, right? Tiffany, she's telling us some stuff, okay? Uh, you know that empowering, exciting story about finally realizing my dreams and at last building a company that could help multi-millions of women around the world. Well, the week I launched Mogul was also the week that my boyfriend and I broke up. He been dating, we've been dating three years. The highest of highs married with the lowest of lows. The writing had been on the wall for a while, but I didn't want to see it. Of course, now I look back on it, and I'm thankful it happened. During a period where I had a lot going on, the biggest job of all was being his girlfriend, as he was upset that we did not live together at this time and wanted me at his apartment every day. When we broke up, I poured myself into Mogul and never looked back. Hello. That said, I didn't think you have to sacrifice love to have a career. I think that having a partner 
who can support you in your endeavors and vice versa can be the greatest gift. The idea is to have someone who is a partner in the truest sense so that you are pushing each other forward, supporting each other's dreams, and allowing each other to dream even bigger because you are by each other's side. Hello, Miss Tiffany. We all can resonate with that. Well, not everybody now. You know, some people got good people that's, that's hey, hanging in there together. I'm waiting on mine. I ain't found mine yet, but uh, I'm going to stand strong by myself if not. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to uh, stop. I got a legacy and, and, and uh, inheritance to leave to my kids, my grandkids, you know, and help show them how to do it. That's why y'all see on my channels, I have my grandkids with me, you know. I, I ain't playing no games. I'm teaching them whatever I do. I'm teaching them, you know. I'm, you know, I'm just, that's just what I'm doing. I'm just not finna stop. One more, y'all. Page 89. Okay, of course, we're gonna need the time. Bass, wave, radio with CD player. Now, I don't know we too much need that anymore, but businesses still use it, okay? You know what I'm saying? Uh-oh, too much on that. Knocking down everything. Yeah, my little quotes and stuff, but yeah, y'all, y'all feel me. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, page 89. Let's see what it's talking about. Become a mogul from your bedroom. All those self hours, emails, and late nights, and the times you put yourself out there, all those lessons learned, all those rungs up the ladder, runs up the ladder, they don't mean anything if you don't take the plunge when the time is right. You can keep doing your side hustles your whole life if you let them always take the back burner. At some point, you are going to be faced with a choice. Can I commit to making these side hustles, these things that I am deep, deeply passionate about, my full-time job? Question. Am I ready to realize that I have learned enough and turned enough, shadowed enough, and now it's time to step into the arena? We all are faced with these moments. And trust me, there are times when it isn't the right moment to jump ship. When you aren't truly ready and it is best to wait. But sometimes those are just excuses. There are times when invitation is there and we can't seem to muster the trust in ourselves that we can do it. That we are ready. Okay? Are we ready, y'all? It happened for me when I was 27 years old. I had moved from from 6 9th Street, one bedroom apartment to a two bedroom apartment with a younger brother. Okay, she goes on to telling us story. But when are we gonna start? How much do we need to know? I I just throw it out there. I've since I heard, listened to a lot of readers and a lot of uh, people, business tycoons, you know, and they said, do it, throw it out there. You know, who cares if one person look, two person look? Take a chance. If you don't, then you spend the rest of your life on a I shoulda, woulda, coulda. You know. I'm gonna do a little test. See what let's see what Terrell agrees are saying about this. What we doing right now? But yeah, I just thought I'd start on some of this and, and learn me learning as well as y'all. I, yeah, I told I told y'all I'm doing. What am I doing? I told y'all I'm looking for and doing. Who am I? Okay. That's my main thing. What is this? Five of Swords. First Deacon Aquarius Venus. Loss is all is not lost as you still have three swords remaining. Giving you the upper hand. Giving you the upper hand. People turn their back on you. You done lost things. Lost money. Relationships. Whatever it may be. 
but you still got your determination. You still can rub two nickels together. You got maybe have one support. You know you got the divines and you know you got your ancestors. You still can make a move and do what you need to do. Regardless of who gave up on you, don't give up on yourself. Okay? I thought, I think that's pretty good. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all, yeah, so that's what I'm doing, going through everybody. And uh, I'll be going through each sign and uh, reading some things off of it, encouraging you to keep going. You know what I'm saying? Don't stop. Just keep going. If people leave, they're supposed to leave. You know what I'm saying? Just like she said, they're supposed to leave. They broke up. They, the greater separate Hannah man right before she hit B. Check that out. Okay? He wanted all the attention. How crazy is that? You're not supposed to want every, the person's all their attention. You self-centered. Selfish. Okay? So, oh, let me do y'all a little. And I always like to do something I do the most. Yes, I do. No, that's just me. Okay. I don't know if y'all see me or not. <laughs> I look pretty decent today. <laughs> Had my grandbabies all day. I didn't think I was going to get done. I had been working on this all morning. It's like, whoa, stop this. Do that. Put that down. No, you can't. Blah, blah, blah. Woo. I'm like, man. But, you know, I did, I did a little. See, I'm doing this chakra wisdom. I did a little um, thing for them on on tick on a TikTok, uh, a little uh, little rascals thing, and one of them danced. So, hey, who knows by 13, 14, what their life will look like? You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do what I can, y'all. I ain't playing no game. Third chakra, solar plexus, self-worth and self-esteem. I honor myself by doing things that please me, not only those that please others. I am empowered as I release the need to live up to other people's unrealistic expectations of me. When I respect and approve of myself, others will naturally do the same. I teach others how to treat and respect me by how I treat and respect myself. I know I am worthy of love and respect. The boundaries I create with others acknowledge my self-worth. Hello. <laughs> All right, Aries, that's what I have for you, and I'm encouraging you to broaden your horizon. If you already did, I know a lot of y'all have, okay? All right, love y'all. This is your girl, Ruth, signing off. Would you like, subscribe, share? I really appreciate it. All right, until next time. Bye, y'all.